Hallelujah. Bwana anasema tunapokuja nyumbani mwake to expect from him. Amen. Tunatakiwa ku expect from him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Atutakiwi kuona mazoea ya uweponi mwa Mungu. Unajua ni ajabu hata kitandani wako uwezi kuona mazoea. Kwa sababu ndoto uliyoiota jana leo uwezi kuiota tena. Hallelujah. Anataka tunapokuja nyumbani mwa Bwana tusiwe na mazoea. Wakati mwingine unaweza ukakaa kwenye kiti mwa kizoea. Hey, thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Namsikia Bwana anasema, my God, my God. Do you know? Unapokuja kanisani au unapokaa nyumbani mwako, unakaa kwenye kiti. Haujiambi kwamba hiki kiti kinaweza kuvunjika. Unakitrust kiti unakaa tu. Hallelujah. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu kiti kimekushuhudia kwamba kila siku yake inakushika. Tunakiamini kiti kuliko Mungu. Haya haya haya. Unaweza ukafika mahali ukakaa kwenye kiti kwa sababu unajua kiti kitakushikilia. Lakini tunasema kwamba tunampenda Mungu lakini hatumwamini Mungu. Kwa maana kuna vitu tunajaribu tukishindwa hata tunamkimbilia Mungu haya mashanda. Na Mungu anaijua mioyo. Lakini asubuhi ya leo nataka tumwamini. Hallelujah. Ukisema unamwamini Mungu, yaachilia kwa Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Anasema ya kwamba katika vitu vyote we have to pray kwa ikima. Wisdom is the number one. I remember in the book of the Bible, Biblia inasema kwamba Solomon alipoambiwa Solomon is right is what? Suleman alipoambiwa na Bwana unataka nini? Hakusema mali, hakusema wanawake wazuri, hakusema nyumba nzuri. Alisema nipe hekima ya mashanda. Lakini asubuhi ya leo tunaweza tukaulizwa na Mungu nikupe nini? Ukasema nataka nyumba, nataka mume wangu abadilike, nataka hiki na kile. Lakini wisdom even God himself created the world through wisdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every problem we have because we don't have wisdom. That's why we end up to touch things that we're not supposed to touch. That's why we end up to do things that we're not supposed to do. My God, my God. This morning pray for wisdom. This morning tell God I want to depend on you 100%. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One thing I love about Jesus. I was thinking when I was done praying up there. I wonder why Jesus was not born in the house of doctors. I wonder why Jesus was not born in the lawyer's family. I wonder why Jesus was not born in the rich family. My God, my God, why? Why, 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 why? Kwa nini Yesu hakuzaliwa kwenye utajiri? Kwa nini Yesu hakuzaliwa kwenye sehemu ambayo alikuwa famous? Why? Why? Kwa sababu Mungu anatumia vivyo vinyonge. Kwa sababu Mungu anavitumia vivyo vinyonge. Even if you are educated but in your mind you have to be vinyonge. Even if you have everything but your spirit has to be vinyonge. Hallelujah. Even if you can't everything but don't forget one thing. Kwa vinyonge before God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the spirit. I just love God. You can lie to God. That's something that he put inside of you. Do you know? Ili mtoto awe na afya tumboni mwako, kuna kuoga na code. Ambayo inatoka kwenye kitovu chako. Bila kuna kwenye kitovu cha mtoto. That is a line of of life. Unyonge. Kushuka. Hivyo ndivyo vitu vinamvuta Mungu kwako. Hallelujah. 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 Asubuhi leo Bwana alikuwa ananiuliza. Ukipata shida, nani wa kwanza unamkimbilia? Ukipata shida, nani wa kwanza unamwaza kwenye kichwa chako? Unamwaza Mungu au unamwaza mwanadamu? Ukimwaza mwanadamu anake amelani wa mtegemee mwanadamu. There's something that you must be when you remove you. Oh help you to come out of it. Any person unamwaza wa kwanza baada ya kupata matatizo. Mungu anakuangalia anasema look at that. Even the 
even the one that you depend on, I created that person. Even the one that you think he will help you today. I'm the one that gives them the idea to help you. My God, my God. Trust the Lord with all of your heart this morning. Trust the Lord with all of your heart this morning. Do not lead to your own.
kila moja ipi pamoja na sisi amen asante Jesus
Yes, hallelujah. This was powerful. Hallelujah. The presence of God is in this place. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Asante, yes. Asante, son of God. Tunakushukuru sana subu ya leo. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Near God. Trust in Jesus, I've learned to trust in God through it all, through it all. I've learned to depend on what is the word. Through it all.
sana. Tumpigie Mungu makofi. Haleluya. Haleluya. Makofi tuliyopiga sasa hivi sio ya Mungu ni ya mazoezi. Ya mazoezi ah, sio ya Mungu ni ya mazoezi. Hebu tumpigie Mungu makofi. Na kila mtu asimame. Everybody stand. Everybody stand. Every eye closed. ya taarifa za habari niliona juzi mwanamke aliingiliwa na mwanaume halafu yule mwanaume akamchoma moto unaweza ukawa nyumbani ukadhani kwamba nyumbani kuna usalama hapana ni mkono wa Mungu na tulinda wakati mwingine tunasahau tunapoabudu tunapoimba tunasahau kwamba Bwana anatulinda unapoingia nyumbani mbona Bwana lazima ujue kukumbuka kwamba kweli ni mkono wa Bwana unaonifikisha hapa tuimwe mikono mwambie Yesu asante mwambie Yesu asante Mwambie Yesu asante. Mwambie asante kwa uzima. Hebu tuimbe kidogo. Asante. Asante. Okay. Asante. Asante. Mwambie
kidogo keyboard ibakia kwa huko Nisikiliza nili kwa naongea na na Doreen jana Nikawa na mkumbusha mtu tunayemfahamu ambaye sasa ana watoto wawili na mtoto wake mkubwa ambaye nafikiria ana miaka zaidi ya mitano minne au mitano mtoto huyo bado hawezi kuongea kuna namna tunazoea wema wa Mungu tunazoea wema wa Mungu lakini kila tunapopata nafasi ya kumwambia Bwana asante Tumwambie asante wakati mwingine hata kama hukumbuki chochote jiambie ya kwamba in the realm of the spirit katika ulimwengu wa roho kuna mambo Bwana anafanya halafu wewe haukujui maana yake Bwana hatuambii yote na utufanyia kwa hiyo hata kama hakuna kitu ninakishika tangible but I still can testify to myself that the hand of God is at work. Hallelujah. I've got to remember, I've got to believe that the hand of God is at work. Asijue nyuma kuna mtoto akamfinya akamua Sidhani kama tunalinda watoto wetu kiasi hicho cha kujua wameenda wapi Mkono wa Bwana unafanya kazi hata tukiwa hatujui Haleluya Mikono inua mikono tunaambia Asante 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 Baba Yaani kuna namna nyingi sana za kujua namna ya kuingia kumwabudu Mungu. Nyingi sana. Rafiki yangu sana. Sasa mtaja jina rafiki yangu sana Tanzania amenitumia ujumbe juzi. Nilikuwa nikimuona Facebook na na, na kusikia nilikuwa najua nazidi kufanikiwa kila siku na mambo yake yanaenda vizuri. Uh, Alafu baadaye nimesikia kimya kwa muda mrefu juzi napata message ananiambia hali yangu ya uchumi ni mbaya sana kazi aliyokuwa anaitegemea imezimika nikamuogopa Mungu kuna vitu Bwana anafanya tuzidi kumuogopa na kumsogelea Hebu sema maneno haya sema Bwana Yesu Bwana Yesu nakushukuru kwa wema wako nakushukuru kwa uzima nakushukuru kwa yote unayoyafanya sirini asante Bwana nakupigia makofi sasa nakushukuru kwa kuwa mwema kwangu na kubariki kwa kuwa mwema kwangu na kupigia makofi na vigelegele maana wewe ni Mungu wangu ni baba yangu haleluya haleluya Sasa. Yes. Roho mtakatifu endelea kusema na 
Basi. Out of Wako. Kwa jina la Yesu. And everybody say Amen. Amen. Sister Jackie ya tajianda kukuletea matangazo leo maana uh, Sister Mary hayupo Lakini wakati ya najianda na kujikusanya maana ni mida ya jikusanya kilogo uh, Nataka uyu anaye sadaka yako Anaye sadaka yako Anaye sadaka yako na sababu za kuanda sadaka yako ni hizi hapa Na umo nisikiliza kilogo Wakati wa summer Hii ni kutokana na, ha, na, na tarifa ya wachunguzaji wa talamu. Wakati wa sama, likizo zinakuwa nyingi na utoaji. Una? Kuna wengine wa kusema kwa na wangu nisaidia tena. Na utoaji una? Utoaji ukishuka, kanisa linapata shida. Na wangalia matajiri unajua Na wangalia watu mdeo fanikiwa Na wangalia watu mnajua thamani ya kazi ya mungu Na wangalia watu mnaupenda mungu na pesa zenu Maandiko ya nasema Honor the Lord with your substance Mweshimu buwana kwa mali yako Mweshimu mungu ni pamoja na kuyafanya Yale ambayo buwana anaitaji ya fanyiki nyubani mwake Nataka umuangale jirani yaku mwambie hapa nyumbani ya mabuana Mwambie Kuna maitaji Mwangale tena mwambie hapa nyumbani ya mabuana Kuna maitaji Kwa hiyo kwa maleno hayo nataka ujitahidi Kunitia moyo ah, Matajiri na uangalia wengine unaweza ukao unafikiria neno utajiri unaona kama haya <laughs> anasema tu ninasema kwa imani na nadhani nazungumza na watu wenye imani pia amen, amen. I'm, i'm talking to uh, rich people Hallelujah. and i'm talking out of faith Naongea na matajiri na naongea na watu wenye imani. I'm talking to the rich people. Naongea na matajiri. And I'm talking out of faith. Na naongea na, nikiwa na imani. Do I have faith filled people in the room this morning? Na watu walio jawa imani kwenye chumba siku ya leo. I'm I'm asking one to do do I have faith filled believers in the house this morning? Do I have anybody? Can I see your hand? Faith filled believers. Sasa wakati mama yangu anaandaa matangazo ninahitaji kubwa sana ambalo ni wewe peke yako utanisaidia. Amen. Amen. Ni wangapi hapa ndani wangetamani tuwe na CD za mafundisho ambao tumekuwa tunayasikia mara nyingi mtakao nasema yani yale ningepata kopi ile Nikiwa nasikia hata kwenye gari nikiwa nasafiri au nikiwa nyumbani. Halafu kuna wale amen na, na furahi kuona mikono Mungu akubariki sana. Halafu kuna wale ambao kazi yako haikuruhusu kuepo hapa Jumanne na wakati mwingine Jumatano huwezi kuepo. Halafu watu wengine na Jumapili huwezi kuepo. Nimeongea sana. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. The, the, those of you who are unable to be here on Tuesday, on Wednesday, and sometimes on Sunday. Wale ambao hawezi kuja hapa Ijumane, Jumatano na muda mwingine Jumapili. I want to believe that you would love to have the teachings. Nataka kuamini kwamba mngependa kuwa na mafundisho 
of the days you missed coming to church. Let me encourage you as your pastor. Attending midweek services ignites us. It also adds something to our spiritual walk. And all of you that, that are unable to be here midweek services it is not because you don't want to be here. Your schedule do not allow you to. But your, your pastor wants you to grow anyway. So there has to be an alternative. When you are unable to be here and your pastor is, is expecting you to behave this way if you missed the instructions you'll continue to behave the old way because you're not keeping up with what is going on in the house of God. And it disturbs your pastor. I go and ask myself, what extra thing should I do to see them grow in the spirit? I've done all I can. But they are not growing. I sleep a few hours. I sleep a few hours. Thinking about you. Praying for you. Being concerned about your life. And those I can, I try to call. But we will give the devil an opportunity to put a gap between us. If we are not working together, we have to work together. When you join this church, when you joined, you joined because you want to know God. I don't think it was because of seven. I know, I know, uh, my brother Abel, he loves to dance. But he didn't join the church because of dancing. And so I say that to say this. Having a CD of the teachings, it helps you to show the pastor that we are on the same page. We are on the same page. I see how we behave. I see how we act and respond to church needs. It shows you're not really growing as you should. Because you're receiving less instruction. I told this on, on, on Tuesday. That wisdom is the principal thing. The Bible says, you know, all you're getting. Get wisdom. Get understanding. However, your wisdom is connected to instructions. Less instructions in you. Instructions. Less instructions in you. Less wisdom. Take a baby of yourself and never instruct him for nothing for five years will you find the wisdom in you? it's the same thing when we give instruction teachings here and we 
teach you spiritual instructions. And you are not with us. Now we open a sisi. You are not keeping up with what is happening in the house. You say no to something you should have said yes. Because you still behave the old way. And it disturbs your past. You will not believe this. I had an over an hour meeting with mama yesterday. I was telling her, can I put you to be the senior pastor of this church? She said, why? I said, too much to keep up with. I have to remember even the little, little, little things. This one head. Let me come back to the point. I had assumed that we were recording the teachings. Thank you. I had assumed that we are recording the teachings. And yes, we were. But the software and the computer we're using could not keep the quality we needed. And so many times I would ask Joe, Joe, we have been recording. Can I have a CD to hear the quality, to hear my teachings? And, and Joe, how many CD did you give me? <laughs> <laughs> Because we, he couldn't do it. So, the bottom line, we had to buy a new professional computer. And we're supposed to buy a special mixer. And a special software. A total cost of all this. Roughly. Is over $3,000. So I just need three people. Who give me a thousand each? Or promise to give me a thousand dollars? So we can take care of this business. We got money. It's God's house. I don't know how many of us in this room know this scripture. I'm gonna I'm gonna translate in Swahili. But I must speak my own English, okay? English. It's not exactly how the, the, the English Bible uh, says in its wording. But it's the same meaning. But you receive and put uh, your money into the pocket that have holes. Because God's house is not being taken care of. It's not being taken care of. We are, we are focused on taking care of our own house. And it's okay. But Amen. Amen. So, let me see the first hand of a thousand dollars. I don't know if I'm singing right. <laughs> 
Na jua hamni tani si dio. Are you not joking, right? Are you? I'm sorry. Oh, three hundred. Who is it? Dollar mia tatu. Kanya girl. Njoo hapa jenfa. But I want his dad to come. <laughs> but I want his mama to come. <laughs> now you are the first hand to respond to this. <laughs> Even though I said three, I said a thousand dollars, but you really wanted to give. 300. But the, the giving you want to do is because you, you have seen your dad do the same and, and your mama do the same and they've taught you to give. But the This is your first job, right? And why are you giving 300, not 100? Because I want to give out my entire paycheck. I don't want to just stay with a little and give uh, God a little. I want to give it all to Him. Kwa sababu nataka kutoa cheki yangu nzima sitaki kumpa Mungu kidogo nataka kumpa yote. Bwana asifiwe. Tupige mkono. Lord, 
if you can use little kings, Lord God, I thank you. If you can use nobody, I thank you. If you can use the little who don't even have a job, I thank you. Whatever way you do, I thank you. I bless you. I magnify your name. And our Lord, I commit unto a holy hands in the name of Jesus. So la basaka. So la madabo. We pray for the desires of your heart in the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. We pray for the desires of your heart. Desires of your spirit in the name of Jesus. Desires in the name of Jesus. I am Osha. He and I am Randa Namasia Yadavasha. He am a do Ramamamama say. Oh, Rakatamani Akanda. Quite Gina La Yesu Christ of Nazareth. Sasa to Nakomia Nipawa. We are wrong to get him. Quamana to the Pera Mamlaka Rashata. Who planned a good seed from you, my father. In the name of Jesus, I pray that God will use you. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Nika kusikia unasema kuimba siwezi kila siwezi hiki siwezi lakini namsikia Bwana anasema kiko kwa ajili yako hey hey hiasha hey sheke mama yakana ili niandi osha kama nne Jesus 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 oh baba baba shata randa boko raba bashe Hina mandi okora wa shanda. Wakati mwingine unajifananisha na wengine. Wakati mwingine you look at yourself. Unasema I'm not beautiful kama so and so. Lakini I hear the Lord says, you have your portion. You have a portion. You have your portion. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. I open your spiritual womb at Alabasha. Hey, kete rakata. Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, Sidiakusahau, 
If I don't have anybody for a thousand dollars, if I don't have anybody with a thousand dollars, I will take anything you help to cover this cost, to pay for these things. So let me see your hand. Thank you so much, Mama. God bless you. 500. Let's give the Lord a mighty hand. Hallelujah. Could you come?
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Sasa tuna dola 800. Now we have 800. Ni kama kuna mwingine ambaye anasikia moyoni. I don't know if we have anybody who feel kutusaidia. Sister Bora a hundred dollars. Pige mungu makofi ya mani. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Tuna dola miya tisa. Mungu wa kubali kisana. Sante sana. Kuna mwingine? Do we have anybody? Mama. Mama. Mungu wa kubali ki. God bless you mama. Asante sana. Thank you so much. Dola miya. A hundred dollars. Pige mungu. Dola elfu moja tumetimiza. Buwana asifiwe. Buwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Na kwa sababu ni kitu kinaendelea labda ni sikuwe muda mrefu lakini ni ulize mtu wa mwisho kama yupo ambaye. Taza siwa lazima utoe leo. Na siwa lazima utoe kesho jumatatu. Utatoa utakapo kuwa ume. Umepata. Tunataka tukujua kwa mba this has been taken care of. Tunataka tukujua kwa mba hili ni meshugulikiwa na kuna watu wanakuenda kusponsor wanakwenda kuli 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 kulifanikisha ikichukua miezi miwili miezi mitatu ikichukua miezi minne i believe hata miezi minne bado mimi sina shida kabisa ningependa tu kuona tumeweza kulishughulikia si kama kuna mwingine Mungu akubariki mama dola elfu moja imetoka leo Bwana asifiwe makofi kwa Bwana Yesu Mungu wa kubariki sana mama. Mungu wa kukumbuke. Mungu wa kukumbuke sana. Kuna mengi ya naku. Hangaisha maindi ya naku. Lakini mwajambia utamuaja Yesu. Mungu wa kukumbuke. Hakutia moyo. Hatu na mungutu wa moyo. Kwa chida la Yesu. Kwa na kutia moyo. Kama kuna mwingine ambaye Mwanangu wapa metuwa dola hamsini Tuwa dola elfu mbili na hamsini Ndiyo kaka Mungu wakumaliti sana Mia nne Tumpige mungu makofi Hallelujah Ndiyo mama Mwingine Mia tano Jesus Jesus Jema tumpige mungu makofi na shindwa kujumblisha na shindwa kujumblisha mwingine 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 ndiyo mia tatu pigia mungu wa kofi hallelujah glory to Jesus there is fire in this place kwa china la yesu there is power in this place in the name of jesus the blood of jesus is working in this situation there's an anointing kwa china la yesu moto moto kwa china la yesu 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 moto 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 kwa china la yesu Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. I can guarantee you. I'm speaking from this altar. The altar that is in heaven anointing. Your money will not go away for in vain. God is going to bless you more because you are interested in God's business. God will be interested in your business. Hallelujah, somebody. We did it. We did it. Anybody else? Anybody else? Hallelujah. Sioni mkono mwingine Mungu awabariki sana. 
ukisikia roho mtakatifu anakusukuma na kugusa unakuta haupati amani kwa ajili ya kitu hiki usiache kuja kutuona we need your help bwana asifiwe sana one more time tumpigie mungu makofi na venye venye Ameshinda vita Yesu ameshinda vita Ameshinda vita Yesu ameshinda vita ameshinda vita Ameshinda vita Yesu ameshinda vita Ameshinda vita Yesu ameshinda vita Ameshinda vita Ameshinda vita Yesu ameshinda vita Ameshinda vita Ameshinda vita Yesu ameshinda vita Ameshinda We are going to take our offering. Na I believe you had enough time to prepare.
atapitisha chombo hapo ulipo kwa tunaendelea kuimba. Lakini atakileta hapa tuweze kumwambia ku, ku, Mungu kidogo. Amen. Karibu karibu. Yesu, 
Uwezo kuatumia Bwana. Maana sadaka hii imetengeneza zako. Imekuwa hadukazo mbele zako Bwana. Umeona utoaji wa mbele zako baba. Asante kwa sababu umetenda Bwana. Ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo majina yote. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Um, I'm a little nervous. I would, I didn't know that um, I'll be the one doing this tonight, uh, this afternoon. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Okay, so if my voice is a little trembling, bear with me. Kama sauti yangu ina ina sumbo sumbo kidogo na umbeni ni sami. Um, I never feel worthy to stand here, and I'm really nervous and scared of this place, and all for good reasons. Si jamii kujisikia na staili sima ma kaya na mama kidogo ni yote kwa sababu mzuri tu. So thank you, Pastor, for trusting me to stand here this afternoon. Asante sana mchungaji kwa kuni amini kusima ma pa chana wale yuko. And um, just before I, uh, the announcement. Hello. Thank you. Just before the announcement, Pastor, you wanted to know how much we got this uh, this afternoon, and the total actually is uh, three thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Kabla matangazo, Pastor, taka tunju e kumpata shinga kuchano aneo. Tumepata jumla dola ifta tu miambili na msini. We give God the glory for your open hearts for giving, and may God bless you wherever you have. Uh, out of the uh, 3,250, um, in my hands right now, I do have $1,050 already. Praise the Lord. Okay, the uh, announcements for this morning. As usual, this is just a reminder of our church policy. Uh, whenever the um, our kids or our children go out there, let's make sure that they are accompanied by an adult or uh, one of the teachers in the uh, uh, Sunday school area. Wakati wote mwa tutuetu anataka kutoka nchi ya umlango mwa anataka kwenda uani tunaomba wawe wanaongozo na wakubwa ama na mwalimu anayewa fundish. And um, all of us, again, let's be um, each other's keeper. So if you see a, a kid roaming around, please let one of the leaders know so that we can help that kid. Na sisi wote, ya chatue tunalindana, ukiona mtoto natembea peki yake, tunaomba uenae ili umlinde wa mtoto. Um, another reminder, as we all know, in this century, we can only bring um, water. Okay, so please, let's try hard to obey the church policy. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Amen. So we have a special announcement. Tunatangazo moja la kipeke. Coming uh, this, I mean, this coming Friday and Sunday, 
Our pastors have arranged a special revival. We do have a special guest from Zimbabwe. Tunamgeni amealikwa kutoka Zimbabwe to grace this altar. Atakuwa hapa kwenye madhabahu. And it's, her name is Pastor Grace. Na jina lake anaitwa mchungaji Grace. I'm sure some of the women have already met her and uh, hear her preaching. Tuna uhakika wanawake fulani wameshamuona ama wameshasikia mafundisho yake. I see sister Rehema is really excited. Naona Rehema amefurahi sana. Okay, so um, that is a special announcement. Now of uh, Just a quick addition. Kwa kuongeza tu kwa haraka haraka. She was invited for a big meeting here in the US. Alikuwa amealikwa kwenye mkutano mkubwa hapa Marekani. She has given us a favor. Ametupa tu kibali. Because she's one of those preachers who are not like me, you know, just call up us. Ni mmoja wa wahubiri ambao sio kama yeye. And so she has been invited to a, a big meeting because her name is Big. Amealikwa kwenye mkutano mkubwa kwa sababu jina lake ni kubwa. And so it's a favor of God through Pastor Nunu. Kwa hiyo ni kibali cha Mungu kupitia Pastor Nunu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Through Pastor Nunu. Kupitia Pastor Nunu. Nunu walked into the meeting which was being conducted here in Columbus. Pastor Nunu aliingia kwenye mkutano ambao ulikuwa unaendelea hapa Columbus. And this woman did not know nothing about Pastor Nunu. Na huyu mwanamke hakujua chochote kuhusu Pastor Nunu. A powerful woman. Mwanamke wana nguvu sana ya Mungu. After the meeting, baada ya mkutano, God began to speak to Nunu through this woman. Mungu alianza kuongea na Pastor Nunu kuhusu mwanamke. And she blessed Nunu so much. Na alimbariki Nunu sana. And there was a spiritual connection. Na kulikuwa kuna umunganiko wa kiroho. And as busy as she is, na kwa mambo mengi ambayo anayo, it was just out of favor she said I can come to your church this weekend. Ilikuwa tu kwa kibali akasema kama nitakuja kanisani kwako weekend hii. So our Friday kwa hiyo Ijumaa yetu fellowship ah fellowship yetu ya Ijumaa Ijumaa <laughs> Ushirika wetu wa Ijumaa tunaufanya kuwa revival we gonna make it as a revival I know there are some of us who used to come to our Friday fellowship Najua kuna mmoja wetu ambao walikuwa wanakuja kwenye ushirika wetu wa Ijumaa and then for some reason you lost either the desire or your schedule got busy na kwa sababu tofauti uli labda ulipungua hamu ilipungua ama ulikuwa tu na ratiba ambayo iko busy i want to ask you nataka niwaombe please tafadhali please tafadhali i do not know the picture she has sijui picha ambayo anayo kichwani mwake but how many people to walk in my house kwa pastor Doris ndivyo yeye anavyoweza walk in kwa Tudo Bismarck kwa hiyo unaweza ukaimagine sasa hivi amekuja kwenye mkutano wa John Eckert. Anybody knows John Eckert, one of the preachers in America? And you know John Eckert anakuaga na kina Ben Hinn, anakuaga na kina na preachers wakubwa. Kwa hiyo I pray that you you see kama hii ni opportunity ya kusikia kutoka kwa mtu anayesikia kutoka kwa Bwana. Niliguswa sana aliposema kwamba kwa sababu mimi nilimuomba tarehe 9 ambayo ni Jumapili. 
akaniambia naweza nikaja ijumaa nyinyi mnaweza msielewe watumishi wa Mungu akikupa siku tatu ni nyingi sana na siku wanayoondoka hapa kwetu kesho yake ndio anaanza kwa, kwa John Eckel so na waombeni sana 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 mje msikie sauti ya Bwana akisema nanyi tutaweka matangazo lakini na yeye mwenyewe alinitafuta jana akaniambia nataka kuweka tangazo through hambidi siku ya ministry yake kwa hiyo mtaona tangazo kwetu na kwake pia alafu abavo juu ya yote ni mbongo ametoka Tanzania Dar es Salaam anaongea Kiswahili lakini haishi Tanzania ni mnyakiusa mambo ni kisa tupate tena kaka kena na saluti kabisa bwana njiviwe sana alibadilisha kabila kutoka kumuha kuwa mnyakiusa Haleluya. Kwa hiyo we are very lucky. Tumsupport ajio kwamba kuna kosa nyingi la Tanzania ambao wanajua kumsupport mtu lakini because of her level of ministry. Lakini kwa sababu ya level yake ya huduma. It will be a very bad message. Itakuwa ni ujumbe mbaya sana. It 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 just a few of us. Like eti wachache wetu tu nimekosa nuru eti kwa Kiingereza ndio maana nimesema eti a few of us a few of us to, we show up here eti wachache wetu tutuje hapa Ijumaa kwa hiyo rehema so rehema uh, i want you to make arrangements nataka ufanye upange Fa, fanya mpango mama, mama shukuru na wale wote watoto wa mama shukuru jamani mama shukuru ana watoto waliozaa na na watoto wengine ambao hajaza wanaoendaga tukumfuata mama kuomba ushauri pale mm-hmm. na wengine wanampelekea watoto wao awashikie watoto mm-hmm. tena anawashikia bure mm-hmm. si jamuuliza mama shukuru kama kuna hata mmoja wao huwa anaenda kumwambia mama asante kunashikia mtoto dola kumi hii nataka tukuwatumie ujumbe wale ambao wanampa mama kazi mama anawapenda yani kama ingekuwa ni mimi mtu akinisaidia kushika mtu unajua kushikwa mtoto marekani sio mchezo hata kama ni dola tano eh sasa jamani mkumbuke hii facebook iko na rekodi ya maneno kwa hiyo yule ambaye anashikiwa mtoto na mama shukuru hata akijifanya gesture chukua hii video mtumie amen Mama awe anaweza akakumbuka pale ambapo wanaweza. Unajua na wao pia wanaomba msaada kushikiwa watoto kwa sababu hawana mwingine. Na, na hawana hela ni gharama sana kushikiwa mtoto Marekani. Sasa pale Mungu anapowabariki labda wakapata labda ka dola tano basi wanamkumbuka mama wanambariki mama anasikia vizuri pia. Nimesema hayo yote kusema kwamba mama na watoto pia wengine kwa hiyo rehema atakuwa anazungumza na mama namna ya kusambaza habari na kukusanya watu wa kule kuweza kujua wangapi wanaweza kuja Ijumaa ili ufanye mpango wa wa kuwasafirisha. Yaani baada ya leo inaenda inaenda vingine ambavyo sikuwa nimetegemea. Rehema come here. Okay, chini. Si mama. <laughs> Ume, umekuwa mwaminifu kwenye kazi ya kutafuta na kushughulikia watu wa kuleta kanisani. Umejitoa sana. Ni kazi inyangaisha sana mama. Ni kazi inyangaisha sana maiga pia. Lakini kwa ajili ya Bwana sijakusikia unalalamika hata siku moja. Mungu akubariki mtumia mafuta yako muda wako kila jumapili haujawahi kulalamika nothing nataka ili kanisa wakupe dola 100 amen ikusaidie kwenye mafuta hallelujah amen 
좀 비교해보고 막 그런 소리 하는 거 같아요. 그런 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 거 Yeah, I would ask the leaders like for us to have a small huddle after the service so we know exactly how to support our spiritual parents on all this. Okay. As you all know, the picnic um, last week was cancelled. And it, all, it was all for good reasons. Na ili kansoliwa kwa sababu tu ya himsa. Um, the Tanzanian community also had their picnic on the same day. Ushirika wa Tanzania walikuwa na picnic kwenye siku hiyo hiyo ya jumamose mbo likuwa jana. So we have rescheduled um, our picnic until the end of this month. Kwa hiyo picnic yetu imewe kwa mpaka tare 29 mwezi huu. So please purpose to invite family and friends. Tafadhai kusudia kualika marafiki, familia yako. And uh, we will be giving you details at the, as the day goes. Na tutakwa tukiwapa maelezo zaidi siku tunabe ndile mpita. For all the, um, the men, ANBC men, if you feel in your heart to help us with drinks. Kwa wanaume wote wa ANBC kama unajisikia moyoni kutusaidia na vinyuaji. Um, you are welcome to do so and God will bless you. Unakaribisho kufanya hivyo na mungu wata kubariki. And I didn't discriminate just men because I know I'll be asking women to help us with the cooking and snacks. Na siku tsema tuwa na ume na kudharao wanawake ya pana kusabu na joa wanawake watatusaidia kupika na kuleta snacks. Praise the Lord everybody. Amen. Okay. Um, we would kindly ask for all the ANBC members tutawaomba waumini wote wa ANBC to be accountable for this church. Wawe wanajie sabu kwenye li kanisa. Let us treat our home, I mean, let us treat our church as a home. Acha tufanya ili kanisa kama nyumbani kwetu. And one of the things that I would love all of us to do, na kito mbacho ni njependa sisi wote tufanyi, to help each other clean this church. Ni kusaidiana kusafisha ili kanisa. Whether in the sanctuary, yugi wapwewe umundani kanisani, whether in the kids area, ama ni kule chumbani kwa watoto, and or whether in the um, food area. Let us work as a team. Acha tufanye kazi kama team. So that we don't, you know, some people don't feel stressed out or heavy burden. Ili watu wengine wasione kani kama umefanya kazi kubwa kuliko wengine. Concerning baptism. Kuhusu batizo. Elder Gladys is still taking names. Elder Gladys baro na nila kuchukua majina. We know that the baptism will be this month. Tunajongo baptizo takuwa mwezi huu. Pastor, will it be the last Sunday of this month? Is it? It was going to be Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. So the date will be announced to everybody. Siku ya baptizo itatangazo kwa kila mmoja. And just as a reminder, our weekly services are still on. Na kukumbusha na tui badazetu wakati katia wiki zinaendelea. We still do have our Tuesday service, 7.30. Bado tunaibada yetu ya jumanine sa moja na nusu ujioni. Please come and join us for a word and prayer. Tafadhali tunaukaribisha uye kuungana nasi kwenye eno la mungu na maombi. Our Wednesday service has been cancelled for now until further notice. Ibada yetu ya jumatano imeondolewa kwa sasa mpaka tujulishu tena. And on Thursday, please purpose to log into Facebook Live to support our pastors and hear the word and pray together. Na alhamis tunawaomba, tunawaomba umini wote muingia kwenye Facebook Live ili tuweze kwa support wa chungaji wetu. Praise the Lord everybody. Amen. Thank you everybody for listening and God bless you. Tunashukuru sana wa kusikiliza na mungu wa mariki. Wana asifiwe. Amen. Wangapi. Wangapi. Kwa minizimi ya maiki. Hallelujah.
Haleluya. Wamezimia tena. Haleluya. Wamezimia ibada. yako mwambie mchungaji anajenga kumbili. Na Mungu ni mwenzako mwambie mchungaji anajenga kumbili. Turn to your neighbor tell your neighbor pastors preparing to preach. Tujizoeze ku ku kukaja pale kwa Bwana kwa masaya yote ambayo yanatokea. Ni mara moja tu kwa wiki. Amen. Ikisikia kuna watu wanakusukuma kana kusumbua ibada ndefu, unjue kale ka upendo na huyo Yesu kanaanza kupata shida. Maana si mjui mtu ambaye huwa na hesabu masaya kana mpenzi wake. Si mjui hata mmoja Masaa matatu yanakatika hujui. Mwangalie jana yakumbie. Mpaka ukianza kumchoka wewe mpenzi. Haleluya. Haleluya. Mpaka ukianza kumchoka wewe mpenzi. Ah, kipiga simu na kwa upokee pia. Sema kwa Kiingereza. Maana nimesahau kuingia sema kwa Kiingereza. Say in English. I don't know anybody who get tired to to stay with your love. Your boyfriend or girlfriend, your wife or husband. Kwenye husband na wife kidogo kwa kuna mazingine. Tuseme tu boyfriend na girlfriend. Ni pale upendo na koko mozo. Mozo. Mtungaji aitishe maombi wewe una appointment na na utamwambia girlfriend naenda kwenye maombi mimi ndo nitajua siwezi haleluya bwana asiliwe sana kwa hiyo utabasamu tu kwenye mwana wa bwana just smile we are in the house of the lord lakini kama kuna wale ambao you have to go kwa sababu una plans we do respect that amen Mama alikumbusha kama unakunywa dawa labda pia. Sitachukua muda mrefu ni saa 7 na dakika 37. Saa ya kufika bado. Mchungaji anaanza maumivu. Kitabu cha Luka sura ya 15 mstari tutaanza wa 11 mpaka 32. The book of Luke chapter number 15 verse 11 to verse number 32. Look chapter 15 Verse number 11 to verse number 32. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Pass is about to preach. We're going to look at the story of the prodigal son. We're going to look at the story of the prodigal son. So we can connect with our last Sunday subject. If you can remember the title of our, our message last Sunday. The spiritual man's production process. Hatua za kumtengeneza mtumishi wa Mungu. Hatua za kumtengeneza mtoto wa Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. We looked from Genesis chapter number 1 verse 26 to 31. Tuliangalia mwanzo mstari wa kwanza 26 mpaka 31. Sasa 1. Very good memory. Ni kazi ni kutafsiri. Kwanza kumbuka vitu na hiyo. Na unafanya kazi nzuri sana. Tumpige Mungu makofi hivi chini. We realize that God tumegundua kwamba Mungu in his image kwenye mfano wake he did what alifanya nini created aliumba but the verse the top verse um, whatever you change is the change my boss bring it back where exactly was i was very enjoying that one bwana asifiwe amen bwana asifiwe amen We realize that God created 
a human being after his own image but the verse before he said let us make a man after our own image God is one and he is not divided into three parts God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit and in the process of making a man the first step was completed the first step God was still not satisfied with the first process are you with me? so that Part, the first part of creation once it was completed God took a break and then placed a man in the garden there at the garden he began to teach him and prune him and create things in him and have him exercise the power in him he gave him dominion over everything Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Pastor is about done. Pastor is about done. I want you to look again to your neighbor. Right in his face. Say neighbor. Pastor is about done. Pastor is about done. Unless. Come on. Look at this. Unless. The Spirit of God. Takes over. over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Amen. In the process. He realized that man was still not complete. Because he began to make mistakes. And one grave mistake. Is after God had given him instructions. You should not eat. A fruit Tunda. from this tree. But yet, yeye, a human being, Adam, 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 with the help of his wife, wake, broke that instruction. And God looked back. Na mungu he saw there was still a need. So process this man. Look at the nice neighbor. We need some process. We, come on, look at the neighbor. Say neighbor, we need a process. So we got some stuff that got to come out of us. We got some stuff. We got some desires. We got some wants. We got some thirsty. We got some curiosity that got to be shaped to for God. Hallelujah. 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 I said hallelujah. Come on, I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I said hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So, in that process, even today, the same God is still interested in processing me. In processing me and you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God Mungu is still interested even today Ataleo. to cut off Kututoa. and cut out Na kutoa vitu to cut off Kukata. and cut out Na kutoa and chop Na everything that does not please vitu him. Hallelujah. 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 The process is never yummy. The process does not, is not full of milk and ice cream. Na ice cream. Because it's a surgery. Kwa sababu, kuna I don't know nobody who going to surgery room chumba for a major operation kwa, 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 with the ice cream on his side. Ah, I don't know nobody. Si Look at his neighbor. Can you go Unaweza to a surgery room kwenye chumba chumba with your ice cream? Na ice cream yako? Wait for an answer. Goja jibu. 
Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. And so God, even today, He's still in the business of processing you and processing me so to be shaped for God. Hallelujah, somebody. I said, Hallelujah, somebody. We're going to read Luke 15, verse 11 to 32. We're going to see on the screen. We're going to read in Swahili. I'm going to read it for you, Mama. I want you to relax a little bit. Bora asiviwe. Bora amefurahi. Akasema mtu moja alikuwa na wana wawili. Huu ni mfano Yesu anautoa. Yule mdogo akamwambia babaye Baba ni katie zangu Mana nimekuwa na akili nyingi najua kuliko wewe Curiosity wants and desires that are not shaped by God for God can create a trouble Akasema baba ni pesa yenu ya mali inayoniangukia Baba akawagawia vitu vyake Doren be quick you cannot be doing and talking Hata baada ya siku si nyingi yule mdogo akakusanya vyote akachukua ndege au pikipiki na tatalo neno naona macho akasafiri kwenda nchi ya mbali curiosity can make you go far unataka kujua mambo kinaweza kufanya wewe uende mbali once and desire that are not of god kitu kimoja au hamu ambayo unachoa kuhusu mungu once Ham, ham, and desires. Na ham. Uwe taji na ham. Na kutaka. Na kutaka. Can make you go far. Nisa kufanya wenye bali. If God does not process you. Kama mungu haja kutengeneza. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Akasafiri kwe na nchi yambali. Akatap. Panya mali zake huko kwa maisha ya some parables methali zingine speak volume vinaongea vitu vingi response to this very particular verse Kujibu kwangu kwa haraka kwenye ili ya niko Go back to that verse Dorian and pay attention to my preaching Why is Jesus using that term uasherati Kwa nini Yesu anatumia ili neno uasherati Can somebody answer me I don't like the English part. It's because it's not saying the word washerati. But let us keep on going. Next verse. But when he had spent all, alipokuwa amekwisha tumia vyote nja ku iliingia njile yeye naye akaanza kwa mwitaji
want you again to pay attention. Akaenda akashika mana na mwenyeji mmoja wa nchile naye alimpeleka shambani kwake kulisha nguruwe akawa akitamani kujishibisha kwa maganda waliokula nguruwe wala hapana mtu aliyempa kitu aliposingatia moyoni mwake alisema ni watumishi wangapi wa baba yangu wanaokula chakula na kusaza na mimi hapa ninakufa kwa njaa akaamua nitaondoka nitakwenda kwa baba yangu na kumwambia baba nimekosa nimekosa kwanza Are you reading with me? Nasoma na mimi. Nimekosa kwa Nimekosa kwa Kuna vitu unafanya. Unamkosea Mungu na unatukosea sisi. Kuna vitu unafanya na mkosea Mungu na kukosea na wewe. Mnanisikia? There are some things when we do them we go against God and we go against people. Kuna vitu ambavyo tukifanya tunamkosea Mungu na pia tunakosea watu. When we feel like we need to repent, tunapojisikia kwamba tunahitaji kuomba msamaha, we are quick to go and only repent to God. Tuko haraka sana kwenda kumuomba msamaha Mungu tu but not to anybody. Lakini sio kwa wanadamu. Lack of knowledge. Hiyo ni kukosa maarifa. You will never have peace. Hautapata amani. Amen. Amen. You can ndani tatumia sasa la Kiingereza lakini. You can daruka daruka. <laughs> Unaweza kudaruka daruka? You can be jumping and jumping and jumping here and there. Unaweza kuruka ruka kutoka hapa na pale hapa na pale. And pray and ask everybody else to pray for you. Na kuomba na kuomba kila mmoja kusaidia kuomba. And decide not to do that last part of asking for forgiveness from people. Na kuamua kuto kumalizia nafasi ya mwisho ya kuomba msamaha kwa watu. May God help us. Mungu atusaidie. Mungu atusaidie sana. Mungu atusaidie. And the church today na kanisa leo is full of us sisi who love to protect our image ambao tunapenda kulinda sura zetu who protect how how we look kulinda vile tunavyoonekana protect our names kulinda majina yetu protect us from experiencing any shame kujilinda kuto kupata aibu yoyote and we forget that jesus na tunasahau kwamba yesu who died for you and me ambaye alikufa kwa ajili yangu na wewe was left naked aliachwa uchi for you and me kwa sababu yako na mimi so that we can mimic him ili kwamba tumuige yeye and never shy away na tusione aibu from in a shame kwenye aibu yoyote it is for God's glory kwa sababu ni kwa utukufu wa Mungu hallelujah somebody hallelujah i said hallelujah somebody Jesus is looking for somebody today ni Yesu anatafuta mtu leo who will go all the way ambaye ataenda who will love him all the way ambaye atampenda attend the costing kwa gharama yoyote attend the price kwa kwa kulipa gharama yoyote you still love him bado utampenda and walk with him na kutembea na yeye if you have to 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 experience his shame kama utaweza kupata aibu it's all right ni sawa as long as you ready to you have god on your side upande wako kutoa hizo gela bless god hallelujah hallelujah somebody hallelujah say hallelujah somebody hallelujah the action of a prodigal son kitendo cha yule mwana mpotevu came out of his own behavior kilikuja kwa ajili ya tabia zake mwenyewe na next sunday sasa jumapili inayokuja we'll take just a little bit tutaongea tu kidogo what 
is behavior. Tutaongea kidogo nini tabia? Tabia ni nini? And what builds somebody's behavior? Na ni nini ambacho kinajenga tabia ya mtu? One of the things in our behavior kitu kimoja katika tabia zetu Let me put this way. Our behavior is built from different three main main sources. Tabia zetu zinajengwa kwa vyanzo vitatu tofauti. And it's connected to our mental na vimeunganikana na akili zetu and badly na mwili and spiritual desires. Na hamu ya ndani hamu ya kiroho three of them one vitu vitatu moja our mental desires matakwa yetu ya akili our body desires matakwa yetu ya mwili and our spiritual desires na matakwa ya kiroho and these are shaped na hivi vitu vitatu vimetengenezwa from different sources as well kutoka kwenye vyanzo tofauti tofauti some are coming from the culture we grew in vimoja vinatoka kwa utamaduni tulizokulia and some are coming from the family that raised us na vingine vinatoka kwenye familia tulizokuzwa and all these things na hivi vitu vyote they create a kind of a person vinatengenezwa mtu fulani that god has to shape him ambao mungu lazima amshape stand up your feet simama kwa miguu yako I want you to believe. Nataka wewe uamini. You have desires. Unazo harm that are not of God. Ambazo sio za Kimungu. If God does not ship you. Kama Mungu hata kutengeneza. Every now and then. Siku siku nyingine siku moja na nyingine. Every now and then. Kila mara. Kila mara. You will put God to shame. Utamwaibisha Mungu. Because you have desires. Kwa sababu una hamu that you can you can control them. Ambazo hauwezi kuzicontrol. Everybody in this room. Kila mtu huko ndani. You have curiosity. Unataka kujua jua vitu ama mambo. Curiosity that is not of God. Kukutaka kujua vitu ambavyo sio kwa Kimungu. And you keep on trying things that are not of God. Na unaendelea kujaribu vitu ambavyo sio vya Kimungu. If God does not shift your curiosity. Kama Mungu hatakutengeneza wewe kutaka kujua vitu. You're going to ask for your possession. Utaenda kuomba sehemu yako. And you're going to ask for your inheritance. Na utaenda kuomba urithi wako. And you're going to ask for whatever you can. Na utaenda kuomba chochote unachotaka. So you would travel far because of your curiosity. Ili usafiri mbali kwa sababu wa kutaka kujua vitu and because of the desires in you na kwa sababu ile hamu ndani yako and you suffer na utapata shida and god does not want you to suffer na mungu hataki wewe upate shida god have to prune you mungu anataka kukutengeneza god has to process you anataka kukutengeneza so you will become ili uwe after his own image mtu ambaye ni umetoka kwenye mungu hallelujah 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 i said hallelujah hallelujah every eye closed kila macho yafumbwe in this room kwenye hichi chumba i have a couple of people na watu kadhaa who in the past ambao huko maisha yao yalipita and they may not be even that far from today na nyingine inawezekana sio mbali sana kuanzia leo You said yes to one desire or two desires in you. Ulisema ndiyo kwa hamu moja na nyingine. And then you sinned against God. Na ukafanya dhambi mbele za Mungu. We have a loving God. Tuna Mungu anayetupenda. Whose hands are open. Ambaye mikono yake iko wazi. To receive anybody. Kupokea mtu yeyote. Who runs to him. Ambaye atakimbilia. I want you to take a minute. Nataka uchukue dakika. Tell God. Na mwambie Mungu. To process you. Kukutengeneza tena.
Even when God wanted you to pray, but you rather, you rather got, got in your car and went somewhere else. You left your house to go to work. You did not pray. You do not read your Bible. It's because you're saying yes to your flesh. You got to know how to repent and stop. I'm going to give you one more minute. I want every mouth in this room to talk to God. Ask God to prune you. Ask God to clean you. Ask God to forgive you so that you'll be so that you'll become who God wants you to be. Let's pray. I'm just going to pray, but I want you to also pray with your mouth and with your understanding. Talk to God. Father, thank you now for reminding us of this prodigal son and how his own desires and how his own curiosity made him go against his daddy's instructions so many times lord god we have followed our curiosity and have followed our desires and we have sinned against you have brought shame to your name some things we did them publicly and people are asking and questioning what kind of salvation do we have because we said something we said yes to something in public and god was ashamed of us you are Lord God, you are still looking for a people who are serious about you. You are looking for a people who wants to take you all the way. You are serious about your people and you are looking for somebody who will stand for you. No matter what here we are today, in the name of Jesus, I pray you continue to process us, so oh God. Be because we are not complete. We are not complete. Every time we desire one thing, our hearts desire one thing, our flesh desires another thing. We end up doing what we don't want to do. In the name of Jesus, forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, oh God of mercy. To some Baba, to some Mungwe, to Wemba, to Nafuata, we don't have Rose to Zinalia, Rose to Zinalamica, Hatuna Mani, Hatuna Fura Hatana Ibada, to the Potesa, Manakuna Kumunanietu, Lakinibaba, to the Kupenda, to the Kupenda, to Takase, to Safisha, to Oshe, what Zina is a Christian. Nitainuka mana moyo wangu na kupenda Nisamehe kwa dhambi Nisamehe kwa makosa Nisamehe kwa uzembe Leo, 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 come on Leo, shout, leo, leo, leo Na kusongelea, niguse buwana Asante Baba kwa ajili ya mwana wako na watoto wako hawa na weka mikono ni mwako Roho Mtakatifu shema nao Roho Mtakatifu shughulika nao Roho Mtakatifu wajenge Roho Mtakatifu washike Roho Mtakatifu wasitie nguvu wasaidie 
ili tujenge kanisa la yenye nguvu tujenge kanisa linaloponya watu tujenge kanisa ambalo linakuinua jina lako mahali hapa umetuchagua sio kwa bahati mbaya umetuchagua na makosa yetu umetuchagua na madhaifu yetu unajua nini hatuwezi hata kama tutaanguka tutasimama tena maana tu hatuko wakamilifu bado lakini tunajua tukitembea na wewe utatukamilisha siku hata siku tukitembea na wewe day after day utakuwa tukampulisha una to complete your god kwa jina la yesu tusaidie we love you we thank you lord god we've come to the end of our service today i pray you bless your people keep them safe for god for your glory and all in your glory in jesus name and everybody shout amen amen Bwana asifiwe sana. Tumefikia mwisho wa ibada yetu. Ni kama kuna tangazo nimesahau. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa hiyo ibada ya Jumamo Ijumaa tunapokuja hapa Ijumaa tutiane moyo tupiganishe jamani hii siku moja huyo mubidi wetu ataubidi Ijumaa halafu kutokana na roho mtakatifu atakapomuongoza ratiba Jumamosi tupumzike turudi Jumapili na nisikia lakini Roho mtakatifu akimuongoza yeye akasema turudi Jumamosi tutarudi tena. Amen. 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 Ijumaa tutaanza ibada saa moja na nusu jioni. Amen. Amen. Na kuomba sana. Kama itakulazimu ku call of kazini au kuomba si nini. Unaweza kaja siku hiyo mama ana nguvu ya Mungu sana. Unaweza kaja siku moja Bwana akakugusa kwa kitu ambacho tunakihitaji kwa maisha yako yote. Hena naweza kuwa huyu mama, Gaf, nobody expected huyu mama alikuwa pa last week at this week anarudi hapo. Nobody knew. Ila mbingu zilijua na anakuja kwa ajili ya mtu fulani. Kuna watu. Kwa hiyo itakuwa mbaya ukikosa na wewe ndio ulikuwa ulikuwa umepangwa ndio mlengwa. Haleluya. Haleluya. Naomba niongeze neno kwa wale ambao kuna kitu nataka Mungu aseme na wewe au Mungu akujibu. Hii wiki funga. Unajua maisha yamejawa mbele na vitu tusivyojua. Yaani vitu vimepangwa tusivyojua. Wale ambao unatoa mfano, wale ambao wamefiwa na baba na kabla baba hajafariki ali paralyze hawakuliona hilo hatukuliona hilo yani maisha yamepangwa vingine vinapangwa na Mungu vingine vinaachiliwa na Mungu kwa hiyo kuna vitu ambavyo viko mbele yetu ambavyo hatuvijui haleluya sasa hivi tuko fine sijui doni sijui baada ya miaka miwili atapata na kitu gani ambacho kitanifanya nisipate hamu ya kula kwa siku ya 40 sasa zile siku ya 40 ambazo zitakuwa mbele niwe frustrated. Let me put this those for 40 days kwenye hii wiki moja. Haleluya. Tuna mambo mengi sana tunahitaji Mungu atujibu. Future zetu. Maisha ya watoto wetu. Kwa hiyo naomba sana kwa wale wanaoweza kufunga. Kuna andiko moja kwenye Biblia linasema kwamba na nafikiri kwa kwenye kings and i will give the little history of it huyo mama kulikuwa na watoto saba wanacheza watoto watano walikuwa wa mama mwingine na watoto wawili walikuwa wa mama mwingine wale watoto walipotekwa au walipofanywa ubaya yule mwenye watoto wawili yule alisema sitakula wala kunywa lazima mtoto wangu arudi yule mwenye watoto watano Yaani kwa anacheza tu. Anategemea Mungu atafanya bila maombi. Kwanza una watoto watano na watu wameenda. Mwenzio na awa lakini amesema lazima warudi hao watoto. 
Kwa neema ya Mungu yule aliyeomba kwa ajili ya wale washawili alisababisha watu wote waharudi. Jesus. The power of prayer, nguvu ya maombi. Hivi mnajua Christianity without supernatural is nothing. Kama kuna uchawi na nguvu za giza kwa sababu mwanadamu ana party ambayo ana always ana inquire something that is above himself. Always. Ndani ya mwanadamu kuna shimo ambalo if you want get God, you want something else. Yes, yes. So I pray that in the week the thickness of that something else, hallelujah. The thickness of the supernatural. Eh? He went to thick in this room, hallelujah. So everybody Mungu aondoke amekwambia vitu. Zamani ilikuwa so hard. Unajua the spirit of the living God anaendelea kumwagwa the way to navo, go to the end of the earth. The Bible says kuna watu kwenye Biblia ambao wali wish wangekuepo hizi siku. Kwa hiyo kuna vitu ambavyo wewe na mimi tuna experience wao hawako experience. So let us pray for this week. Mungu anguse kila mmoja. I feel so strong because this week some of us will drink only water. I ah oh, Jesus. Okay, tutakunywa maji tuningependa wenye wagonjwa. Let's try God. Biblia inasema yeye mwenyewe anasema nijaribuni nione. Kwa hiyo let's try God. Waleteni wagonjwa wenye mapepo, wenye magonjwa yote mwana asifiwe. Mungu awabariki sana. Bwana asifiwe. Tumefikia mwisho wa ibada yetu na wachukuu waliokuwa kwa Facebook Live. Mungu awabariki sana. Asante kwa kuhudhuria ibada yetu. Tutakutana tena hapa Jumanne kwa ajili ya maombi. Halafu tunakukaribisha Friday kwa ajili ya revival meeting. Pastor Grace will be here on Friday. A Tanzanian from Zimbabwe. Ni mtanzania anahubiri njiri kali anaishi Zimbabwe. Mwenye huduma kubwa atakuwa anahubiri katika madhabahu hii Ijumaa saa moja na nusu jioni kwa masaa ya Columbus Ohio. Tunakukaribisha sana kutoka nchi yoyote ulioko. Usikose kuhudhuria ibada kwa njia ya Facebook Live. Utaangalia masaa ya huko kwako ni saa ngapi lakini Columbus Ohio United States of America itakuwa ni saa moja na nusu jioni it will be 7:30 pm Eastern Standard Time Mungu awabariki sana asanteni